Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at some file recovery software and I know there's a lot of choices out there. If you've been looking for a while you know there's free ones, there's ones that cost a hundred or even two hundred dollars um, and I've been through a lot of these programs and the one that I have found most useful is what I'm going to show you and you can download it here at revivemyfiles.com I also put this link directly under the video in the description box. It'll take you to this page where you can come here and get more information about it. You can download it. Uh, you can see that uh, the company that makes this software is even a Microsoft partner and also an accredited business with the Better Business Bureau. So this isn't one of those cheap softwares that uh, chances are you've downloaded before and it just hasn't worked right because this software is very, very good. And I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So uh, if you want to download the free trial scan version, you can download it at revivemyfiles.com. And when you download it, it's going to look like this. And um, I'm just going to go through some of these with you very quick here just to give you an idea of what the software does but you'll see that there's a quick scan here and it allows you to easily scan for um, files that can be recovered quick or easy. Um, there's a full scan version which allows you to scan all connected devices. This is such as like USB drives, SD cards, um, even things like iPods, external hard drives, just whatever is connected to your computer, it will scan for to show you what files can be recovered. And just like the quick scan, you can also if you're looking for a specific file name you can type it in here and it'll show you that file. Next is the guided scan. The guided scan allows you to recover items from a reformatted drive also from an existing partition. You can recover lost emails and down here um, as I mentioned before it allows you to recover um, uh, files uh, from devices such as iPods, digital cameras and other external cards or whatever memory devices that are attached to your computer. The advanced tab is normally what I use. Uh, it's For me it's just quicker and easier to use. Basically it shows you all the attached devices that has memory that's uh, connected to your computer and you just select which one you want to scan. Um, also it'll scan for recycle bin. Uh, items that's been deleted, files without names, uh, corrupted hard drive sectors, and reformatted partitions. And then you're basically going to click Start Scan. It's going to go through and it's going to show you all the items that it found that are recoverable. And once it does that, it also breaks them down into categories and shows you what types of files they are. And by expanding each um, each category by clicking the plus button you can see exactly what the files are if there's photos it'll you can uh, hover over the item and it'll show you what the photo is so you can see exactly what you're getting before you recover them and then once you're done scanning um, down here you can choose where you want to restore all these files to so if you don't want to recover them back on your computer you can even set a location on your flash drive or external hard drive that will allow you to recover the files back to that specific location uh, and then by simply clicking recover it's going to allow you to restore all those items now the free scan version which is available here at revivemyfiles.com will allow you to install this software. It will allow you to scan any device you have attached to your computer. Uh, but when you click recover, it's going to ask you to register the software. Uh, it does cost a fraction of what most of the other tools online does. I believe it's around $40. And it allows you to use it, you know, how many ever times you need to use it for whatever devices you have. So it's not just like a one-time use. So if you have uh, had other times also where you've needed to recover files like I said from USB drives, external drives or whatever you can use this software uh, for that. Now over here is the email. Um, this here allows you to recover email files um, from Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Mail, um, Outlook Express and those types of uh, products and allows you to recover your PST or OST files um, simply by allowing it to scan and then it'll find them and recover and repair those. So that's what I suggest to do if you guys um, are looking for a way to um, recover files that you've lost or deleted by accident or uh, maybe you just one day the files are just gone and not showing up. This is a great tool to uh, get so you can 
recover all those files but like I said I do recommend you download the free trial scan first before you buy it uh, that way you know for sure that you can recover those files before you spend the money for it